good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice to radio. So today, we're going to do something we haven't actually done before that we really should have done. I've been doing it for other games over on Wossy Plays. I've not done it enough now. But the lovely folks over at Poker Gym answer an FAQ every time a new set comes out. So it's time to go through these and have a look at the new ruling. So, let's roll, shall we? So starting off with abilities, Lantern's Blinking Lights allows you as often as you like during your turn to look at the top card of your opponent's deck. So the question then becomes, can you use it repeatedly even if nothing has changed? And the answer is yes. You can look at this as often as you like as long as you are not wasting time or interfering with your opponent's play. However, if you are trying to slow the game down to try and make game two finish if you won game one, for instance, then that would very much be a penalty for slow play. Blow Away Bomb. Now, this is the ability that both Coughing and Wheezing have, whereby if they were discarded using the effect of Roxy's, you get to put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, Roxy allows you to discard two Pokemon from your hand, so the question then becomes, well, if you discard two Weezing slash Coughing using Roxy, do the ability stack such that you can place two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon? The answer is yes. Each Pokemon gets its own ability. Now, Oracorio GX has a very, very nice new ability, whereby if one of your Pokemon was KO'd during your opponent's previous turn, you may draw a card. Well, the answer is, what happens with Lily's Pokedoll? Now, Lily's Pokedoll is basically just a reprint of Robosub, except Robosub, if you want to get it out the active, you discard it. Lily's Pokedoll, you put it on the bottom of your deck. Other than that, they are the same. Do you still get to use Oracorio's ability? And the answer is yes. Yes, you do. And the reason is, even though Lily's Pokedoll doesn't give up a prize when KO'd, it's still being KO'd. It still counts as a 30 HP Pokemon. It is still being KO'd. So even though your opponent doesn't take a prize, you still get to activate Oracorio's ability. Now, Florges has a very nice new ability, Flower Picking. Once during your turn, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may shuffle two random cards from your opponent's hand into their deck. What if my opponent only has one card in hand? Does that mean I can only shuffle one card back? And if my opponent has two or more cards in hand, can I use this to only shuffle one card back anyway? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, if your opponent's only got one card in hand, you use this. It is the classic, you do as much as you can. But no, you cannot just get rid of one card if your opponent's got more than one. You do as much as you can. If your opponent's got at least two cards in hand, you must shuffle two cards back in. Now, Wishy Washy's got a rather nice scatter ability, and it says that if the Pokemon has any damage counters on it at the end of your turn, you flip a coin. If Tails, you shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it back into your deck. So the answer is, when does it check for damage counters? Is it at the end of the turn? Is it before in between turns? Because remember, in between turns is when poison counters are placed. And it says that after your opponent concludes their end of turn actions, including all effects of attacks and clearing up any KO, then before in between turns, you check for any damage counters that would trigger scatter to shuffle it into your deck. What that means is, if your opponent does enough damage to KO Wishy Washy, it will be KO'd, you won't get to use the ability, otherwise it would be really broken. But if you've got 10 damage remaining and you are poisoned, the ability will activate before poisoned, meaning that if you flip tails, you will be able to save it from being KO'd by poison. So they're the abilities, what about the attacks? Altered Creation GX, this is Arceus and Dialga and Palkia's new GX attack, that if there's one energy on, 
your Pokemon do an extra 30 for the remainder of the game. But if there are two energy on, that is to say a Metal and a Water, you also take one more prize for every KO for the rest of the game. The question is, do you only take an extra KO if you knock out the Pokemon that was active when you use a GX attack? Or do you take an extra prize for any KO that you take for the remainder of the game? And the answer is, you take an extra prize if your Pokemon's attacks knock out any of your opponents active during the rest of the game, not just the one that was hit by this. Now, Charizard and Brakeson have a lovely little ability, Brilliant Flare, that allows you to do 180 damage and then search your deck for any free cards and put them into your hand. So the question is, do you have to take any cards from your deck if you use Charizard and Brakeson? Do you have to search for free cards or do you not? And the answer is, it says May, so you can choose to not search your deck but if you do search, you must take at least one card. So either you do nothing, or you search your deck and take a minimum one card, maximum three cards. We are getting a Mimikyu. In fact, we're actually getting a couple. The one we're worried about is the one with Impersonation. Impersonation is the new attack, one colorless energy. Discard a supporter card from your hand, and then use the effect of that supporter card as this attack and that has actually led us to a couple of little questions first of all if i'm not allowed to play a supporter card for some reason let's say for argument's sake your opponent has supporter locked you using kabutops the one from team up which says if it's in the active your opponent is not allowed to use a supporter card can you still use impersonation and the answer is yes you are not playing a supporter. You are discarding a supporter card from your hand and using the effect. That is not the same as playing a supporter. Okay. Now, similarly, if I use Mimikyu's impersonation attack, do I get to use the when you play this card part of tag team supporters or not? So if we take a tag team supporter, let's take Cynthia and Caitlyn as an example. You've got the main effect of it which is you put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. And then the extra effect, when you play this card, you may discard another card from your hand and draw three cards. So if you're copying this using Mimikyu's Impersonate, do you actually get to discard a card from your hand and draw three cards? And the answer is yes. Impersonation gets to use all the effects of the card. You still do the entire part of the card, even if you're not actually playing it, but obviously you do have to pay the required cost in order to do this. Now, we mentioned Wishy Washy's ability, but how about Wishy Washy GX's attack? The GX attack specifically, it lets you look at the top 12 cards of your deck and put as many basic Pokemon you find there onto your bench and shuffle the rest into your deck. What happens if my bench is full? Can I put down more Pokemon than I usually would? The answer is no. You still have a set amount of bench. Generally speaking, your bench is five. But we've seen cards in the past. I mean, like Skyfield, for instance, which is still legal and expanded, which will allow you to bench more Pokemon. But Wishy Washy GX, not unlike the old Pichu from, say, Heart Gold Soul Silver or that era. Unfortunately, you are only allowed to bench Pokemon up to your maximum allowed bench space. Sorry about that. Now, there is a Magnemite in the... I know we don't usually talk about stuff like Magnemite, but there's a Magnemite. And Magnemite's got Mirror Shot. One Lightning Energy, 10 damage. If the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, they have to flip a coin. If Tails, the attack doesn't actually do anything. Okay. So that's led us to the question, if your opponent used Magnemite's Mirror Shot, and I try and use a GX attack and flip tails, do you lose the ability to use your GX attack for the rest of the game, giving that GX attacks are one per game? And the answer is no. You flip tails, the attack doesn't happen, so you haven't used a GX attack, and you are free to use a GX attack, well, later on in the game, whenever you feel like it, until you've used one. Did not think we'd be talking about that Magnemite, although look at the artwork, I love the artwork on that.
And the last attack we need to talk about, Recall. Now, this is the amazing attack on Empoleon. For one colorless energy, you get to use any attack from your previous evolution. So the question is, do you need to meet the energy requirements? The answer is no. If you did need to meet the energy requirements, it would be a significantly worse attack. And that would be kind of rubbish. If we take something like Piplup, you get to do 80 damage. And then if the defending Pokemon is a basic, it doesn't get to attack next turn. Now, for free water energy, that is way too expensive and we're not touching it with a barge pole. But for one colorless energy, it's a really nice attack and we are absolutely going to be using it. Especially in the basic heavy meta that we've got at the moment. And the answer is... Yeah, go for it, you're fine. One colorless energy lets you copy it. That's why Empoleon is so gosh darned good. Now this FAQ is actually getting really long. So what we're going to do is cut it off at the Pokemon. And in an hour or two, I will bring you another video where I'm showing you the FAQ for all the trainers so that you don't have to muck about watching a 25 minute video. I've asked about this in the past when we've had multiple similar cards revealed. And you guys have told me quite clearly in the past that you would rather have a couple shorter videos than one longer video do of course feel free to watch them back to back for now ladies and gentlemen tell me what you think about these rulings does it change your opinions on any of these cards does it make you want to play any of them does it put you off let me know in the comment section go nuts be nice and then make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter at the wasi and twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio